Greetings and salutations. How you doing? This video is going to be a video about a bunch of little things. It's like a great big update thing going on here. First thing I want to talk about is Hurricane Florence. I am recording this video at about 9.30 on Thursday the 13th of September 2018. And we are expecting a visit from a hurricane. And those of you around the world may have seen the news because the media has gone crazy over this thing. Well, first of all, let me assure you, we're going to be fine. We are physically located very close to where you see the sign that says Norfolk in the middle of the screen. And we are going to get a little bit of rain, maybe a little bit of wind, and that's about it out of this storm. Earlier this week, they didn't know. The local media around here completely flipped out, and the governor went crazy and declared a state of emergency and mandatory evacuations and all that stuff. And Hopefully, it looks like that is not going to be warranted uh, because it's headed south of us. Um, but I am keeping the folks in southern North Carolina in my prayers because they're going to have a pretty rough weekend down there, and uh, that's the way it is. So fortunately, we dodged the bullet this time and no need to worry about that so let's move on to things disgusting let's disgusting discuss things disgusting things what okay now i don't think anything's disgusting it's been a hectic couple of days the kids have been home it's been crazy following all the news and talking to family members and people all over. you know it's crazy yo so i'm about half brain fried Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was go over here. I want to talk a little bit about Easy Talk, which is the forum that we launched not too long ago, and it has taken off in a big way. Uh, got an email this morning from somebody who asked me what they could do to help the Easy Linux project. And I said, first thing you need to do is join Easy Talk and jump in here and help some of the folks who have asked questions about Mint and Ubuntu and other things about Linux. We have, this is just, a, all this is is an old fashioned forum gang. So we've got a place for you to talk about a lot of different stuff. And I got some tips and tricks in here. Uh, you can look at that under Linux tips and tricks and people post there as well. And the thing about this forum is that it is 100% controlled by Easy Linux. This is not a Discord room it is not something on reddit it it's not run by any other big system where they could take it away from us or they could change it without our, you know without notice and we we get stuck with something we don't like no this is something that is controlled from the server operating system on down so uh, it's a very safe and secure place to be and got we're up to four moderators now helping to make sure that people in the forum play nice and keep the bots out and stuff like that so uh, definitely a fun place for you to go so if you want to help the community this is a place that you need to be because um, a lot of the focus is starting to go there as far as community discussion is concerned of course we're still doing that on Facebook we still have the comments on YouTube I'll talk a little bit more about that at the very end of the video I want to talk just a bit about CYA which is a program that um, I worked on with Jeremy O'Connell. He really was the lead on this and came up with it. I just sort of beta tested and consulted and we worked through this thing for a year a while back and put it up. And what this program does is it creates snapshots of your Linux operating system and it allows you to restore them. And yes, it works very much like TimeShift. And we have given TimeShift a lot of time on this channel because TimeShift was integrated into Linux Mint 18.3, and of course it's part of Linux Mint 19 as well, and TimeShift runs and works on Ubuntu. However, it does not work if you are using certain RAID controllers. So I've had to go back to using CYA myself because I have made a change on my machine. How do you get to this? Just go to easylinux.com, look at the page that says Bash Scripts, scroll down, and CYA is right up top, and there's also a link to the rather lengthy and in-depth introductory video that shows how the program works and how you can take advantage of it. CYA is written for Bash, so it will run on just about any Linux system out there. 
really, I think it mainly runs on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, but if you wanted to finagle it, you could make it run pretty much on anything. Great little program. And the reason why that I have gone to uh, using CYA is because I decided, I don't know, I was just sitting around thinking about it, and I wanted to take advantage of the RAID controller that was built into my big Dell T30, Precision T3500, and I decided to set up a RAID system. So for those of you who always ask about what I use and all this stuff, here you go. This is what the state of my system right now. So what I've got in here is two Western Digital Caviar Black 1 terabyte drives, and they are in the RAID controller. Uh, it's set up to be a mirrored system, which means that each drive gets written to every time something is written, and when it goes to read, it can read one drive or the other, depending on which makes it go a little bit faster. So it's a little bit faster than having one drive, but the main reason I did it is to have redundancy as far as the uh, data is concerned. So what would happen is if one of these drives would fail, the system would keep running and it would be perfectly okay to use, but I would get a warning message that's telling me that the RAID system was running in a deprecated mode, which means that one drive was not available for one reason or the other. At that point in time, I would be able to do a backup of the current data and then I could either rebuild the RAID system by taking the bad drive out and putting a new drive in and allowing it to rebuild or I could just do that and then reload the system. I would probably reload it simply because of the fact that to uh, rebuild a ter two terabyte drives like that in a mirror on this particular system would take forever <laughs> to do and uh, the system is not going to be running while it's rebuilding so that would take 10 or 12 hours but either way it gives me a little bit of protection just in case something happens and one of these drives goes down uh, i'm not going to be stuck and of course yes i do take external backups with the xbt tool and all that stuff but this is just a little extra measure of safety to keep it up and running and keep it going and i haven't talked about mirrors in a long time or RAID systems, but that is uh, why I'm using CYA. Now the reason why I'm using CYA, if we go in here and uh, let's see, I'm going to take a look at the FS tab file for this machine, you'll see that what we are mounting up is just the ISO, um, not even our um, ISW mapped RAID drives here, so the time shift program doesn't even see them it doesn't even know that those are storage devices because TimeShift is looking for mounted partitions from a local hard drive so it has to be like SDA, SDB, SDC, something like that and since this isn't like that it's using the RAID mapper in Linux to gain access to the RAID drive then that's a problem so we have uh, a 50 gigabyte partition for the operating system and then the rest of the RAID block device is set up for home. Very secure data wise and uh, that's the reason why I decided to do that. No, I actually I don't want to close that terminal. just want to get out of there and we'll look at it this way real quick. LS block. And so you see that's what's going on there. So as far as what I am using currently as my daily production machine, this is Ubuntu 1804 with the GNOME desktop. So it's vanilla Ubuntu, and I am using the Adweda Dark Theme, which works very well. It comes shipped with Ubuntu. You just have to install GNOME tweaks to gain access to it, and it does work with my Qt applications. We've talked about that in past videos, and I was able to make that happen by adding a line to the environment file in the, uh, in the etc directory. So that is a file that you can put things like, that's where your path statement basically is in GNOME. So if we go here to the terminal and we take a look at that, let's just do a less etc, let's see, and environment. There we go. 
So you see there's only a, like a couple of lines there. There's a path statement and then I have added this particular variable which tells uh, the QT applications to follow GTK2 which works for this um, particular theme and it also works with the ambience theme so between those two you can match things up so they they work the way they're supposed to and how would you uh, do that I have instructions on how exactly how to do that on easy talk and all you have to do is go to the tips and tricks section and scroll down and you'll see my post and then you can do that if you want to on your own system that works for Ubuntu and it involves installing one package and adding that to the environment and then rebooting and um, actually the other thing that I posted not too long ago the video about the install file I've got it doing that automatically in there so you can look either place and you can learn more about that and they're on the uh, easy talk forum so a lot of things are going to easy talk and over time I think I'm probably going to be uh, participating less and less in other forums of course uh, we have the Facebook page for easy Linux and we have also the uh, comments on YouTube but the the comments on YouTube have become very difficult to moderate as we have gained more subscribers and essentially what I do with the YouTube comments now is I spend a, a small portion of my day pruning through them getting rid of the nasties that's pretty much what I do with them unfortunately I don't really have time these days to answer everybody's question so if you post a comment you don't hear from me I do try and read everything but sometimes I just don't get back to people and that's just simply because of the fact that life goes on and then there are YouTube uh, problems to deal with which is uh, just basically moderating those comments um, anyway uh, easy talk is really the focus we have four moderators there and that will keep you know a lot of the nastiness out uh, people are just and we're just not going to allow people to be nasty there and uh, let me see what I'm trying to do that's what you're trying to do go over here to easy talk since you're talking about it. Uh, we're trying you know this is going to be a really good place to talk and uh, unlike the YouTube comments you are probably going to interact with uh, people here who are a bit more knowledgeable I have noticed that a lot of the folks who have joined are people who know a little bit about Linux so if you ask a question you're probably going to get an intelligent answer of course can't guarantee that you're gonna get an answer that'll work for you but at least you're gonna talk to people who uh, who do uh, people ask questions all the time in the YouTube comments and yes I will try and answer them however a lot of the time what I'm doing on YouTube is just deleting comments these days and that is simply because of the fact that um, you know I have decided that I'm not going to really as far as negativity on YouTube is concerned I have no time or inclination to argue with anybody I don't want to do it and so if I see a comment that comes up which is just nasty or uh, if I see a comment that comes up which is blatantly wrong which I see that all the time uh, you know there are folks out there who see a video and then they want to put their opinion in there and they they talk about a bunch of stuff and they, they have their facts wrong just absolutely we're not talking about a matter of opinion then those usually get deleted because I'm not, I don't have time to correct anybody and the way YouTube displays comments these days is that people are people make a comment and then you can't see the reply and unless you click on it you can't get to the replies so somebody could you know put up there that uh, Ubuntu is spyware and will eat your hard drive and of course people will post no that's not true it won't do that or whatever the deal is and, but that's the only thing people will see as they scroll by so I don't like that so that's kind of my policy on handling YouTube comments I, it got way out of control a few months ago I had to take a break from this I had to walk away from it and when I started posting content again I decided that I was going to have a different attitude and the, the attitude simply is this I'm not dealing with it uh, so over time what I would like to do is kind of move more of the community activity over here to this nice safe environment that we've created called easy talk 
And that's about it, gang. It's just an update video. I just wanted to kind of chat a little bit about uh, what's going on here around the homestead and probably will not post any huge content until maybe next week or maybe so i don't know it depends if we don't lose any power i might get really bored because we're we're going to be kind of rainy and nasty for about three days but if we lose power that'll be a different story and don't think that's going to happen though so i don't know when the next video is coming along and of course the kids are home and we're all stuck in the house and that kind of deal so anyway I'm gone. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I need to get the feedback card, don't I? Feedback card. Yes, your feedback is always welcome. Please be sure to give Easy Linux a like on Facebook. Check out uh, facebook.com uh, Easy Linux. That is a cool page. Um, and yes, I do respond to people there. Um, I've noticed that since we have started the Easy Talk forum, had a little bit less traffic over there but lots of people are still following the posts and that's very cool also check out freedompenguin.com for more great stories and content about linux from contributors such as myself and just sent a couple of videos over there not too long ago so probably see them when you log in so that's it talk to you guys again soon if you are in the path of florence stay safe we're praying for you here